So, a job that I want to get done for winter, we're just sort of going around and trying to get some winter Mama. jobs done just before the weather really turns. So, I've connect collected from the woods loads of sweet chestnut saplings. Mama. Are here. Um, they're all in just in some leaf mold now, so I've got about 20 of these. Really? That doesn't look like that many. Yes, 20 ish. So, this is what is here, and I got these. I did a job where a little bit of hedge needed taken out, so all these are hazel. Um, so I took them out with a digger and then brought them home and just planted them in hope that they'd take, but. I think it was the wrong time of year though, wasn't it? It was just... Yeah, well they've been in sort of six, seven months now and they're all, they're all just dead, they're not doing anything. No. So I'm going to take these out um, and in the place I'll plant these sweet chestnut saplings. Because this borders the driveway in, so I'm hoping that the sweet chestnut will provide a bit of shade and a wind block really. Oh yeah. Um, so it's a good time of year to get them in because it's wet and obviously they're not very big but you know next year they're Are they fast growing? Sweet chestnut's fast growing yeah. Oh awesome. Um, and sweet chestnut itself can get huge but they can be coppiced so once they get to sort of eight foot we can cut them all down and then the next year they'll just grow Is that again what? from the stump and cut them down grow again. So me and Jack are going to take these out. Yeah. Hopefully they should just pull out because they haven't yeah. taken so. Yeah. Well, and also it's been raining so much, hasn't it? Yeah. So. And then we'll plant these in the place and then yeah. hopefully they'll settle in at winter. Yeah. yeah me. Go on then, Jack. You're going to pull it. You help Dad pull. Yeah. Right, ready? Ah. Wow, Jack, you're so strong. That's one. Yeah. We one. Oh, that's a big one. Yeah. Go on then, Jack. Can you do that one? Oh, go on then, strong boy. Uh, uh. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Go on, Jack, you do. I don't think this will come out that easy. Yeah. Are you sure that's dead? Is, yeah. What's all the leaves on it? Or is that Metal just... growing up. Oh, right. They got quite high. Like, some of them nettles are actually taller than you. Yeah, that one out, Thomas is coming for support. Yeah. Flower. Sort of. <laughs> yeah, don't touch them flowers though. They're stingies, aren't they? Stingies. <laughs> right. I might just trim this, I think, first. Oh, what? And get rid of the nettles for. Yeah, and then just poke the plants in. Right, should we get planting, Jack P? Uh -huh. yeah. Get one of these. Yeah. Which one? This one? Yeah. Look, you put that in that hole? Uh huh. Good boy. We're going to put a bit of this in. This is just a leaf mulch that was on the forest floor. So will that provide like nutrients and stuff like that yeah. for it? <laughs> Clever boy! Right, that's one. Right, leave that. So we'll just keep making holes every metre or so, metre and a half. Just popping one in. Put that one in. The roots don't look like 
extreme considering it's a big tree. I well, don't know, they're only seedlings, they've literally just just formed this year. Big hole. Oh, you strong boy. Right. Yeah. Then, yeah. Pick one. Yeah. Big one. Which one? One. Go on then. In there. In there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Even if a few of them take, it's been for free, hasn't it? So. Well, of course. Oh, strong boy. One That one? Yeah. In that hole. Uh-huh. Good boy. No more. No more. Still got the on. That's so cool. These are the edible ones, aren't they? Yeah, sweet uh, chestnut. So how long until the we get... The chestnut's conker. Yeah. Oh, I love conkers as well, though. When do you reckon we're going to get the, the nuts from them? Well, it won't be next year. Oh. Is it heavy? Yeah. <laughs> You're so strong. Yeah. You can earn your cup of. You can earn your cup of juice after this. Huh? Earn your cup of juice. No. Oh. No <laughs> <laughs> I'm strong boy. Uh -huh. Can Daddy help? No. Obviously. <laughs> You've got the flower for Daddy. Oh, thank you. Nice Good boy. <laughs> so the plan is we're going to get the pigs from here to your squash patch. Oh, and it'd be a nice treat for the man at the same time, they'll clear it all through. Yep. Pull all the roots up they're and... hungry, so I'm hoping I can just run with the food oh and they'll me. If not, there's no chance of getting them back in. So no, good. we will have no chance. Right, so get the kids out of the way. Yep. Wait, piggies. Wait, piggy. 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 <laughs> Look at them. Ready? No! <laughs> Ready? This is so funny! Ready? This way! This way! Run it. Hang on, you've locked, got one behind! Piggy! Piggy! Come on, Piggy! Come on! Come on, you Piggy! Oh, you're loving that, pigs, aren't you? There's loads in there. Let go and I'll stand like this. <laughs> Look at the piggy. Hello, piggy. Hello, piggy. You make it look so easy. <laughs> Get your head out. Yay! Oh, yummy pigs. Yummy. We'll enjoy cleaning up in here. And roots. Should we like have a guesstimate on the time? I give it an hour. <laughs>
that worked. Ooh. So, what is this? This is the compost ready to plant some really, really nice bulbs that were gifted to us. So, I'm really looking forward to them, actually. They're going to look really good. Are you going to help me put some more in? What are the bulbs? They're oh. tulip um, They're tulip bulbs. <laughs> They're tulip bulbs, but they're called Love Circle Blend. And actually, when you look at the the ticket, they're like, can you see how pretty they are? So they all come out, you know, some are striped, some are pink, and some are, are redy, and some are white. Yeah, they'll be nice. So they're really, they're called Love Circles. So I'm, they're going to be... Well, what, what I would do yeah. is in the pots, I'd put a few layers, so... Fill that pot about halfway, right? And then put a layer of bulbs in. Uh huh. So like eight to ten bulbs. Really? And that then many? and then another couple of centimeters of compost, and then another eight to ten bulbs, and then another right. couple of layers, and then another eight to ten. Okay, so shall I flatten this out a little bit then to lay the? Yeah. Right, Thomas. Obviously, they don't want to be those? too deep, or they won't come through. So probably a bit more than that. Normally you plant bulbs about two to three times their depth, their height, so. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're meant to be yeah. keeping it in the pot, Thomas. Right. Yeah. Do they go in a certain way? Yeah, so the pointy bit facing up. Can you put that one in there for mummy? Yeah. In here? Like this? No. <laughs> no, don't take it out. It's going to be a flat then. So how many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, another. Eight. Another few, yeah. <laughs> Pop that one there. In here. Clever. Right, so we've got 11. So shall I do another layer? Do you yeah, think? so another couple of. Uh, uh, Thomas, hang on, hang on, leave hang on. them. Wow, clever boy, we'll leave that one there, okay? Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> like that? And then how many yeah. more do you recommend? Same again. Okay, right, come on then, should you pop them in? Good boy. And another one? He's, he's got that upright. <laughs> yeah. Yay! Yay! What? What's it? Good boy. What's it gonna be? You know, like you see some people that come through as like really thick. Yeah. Oh yes. Right, should we put some more? You hold this. Can I have that? Thank you. Merci. Are you having fun? <laughs> yeah. Right, hang on. We're losing them now. Right. On to the next one. Yeah? Come on then. Let's move this one. Ooh. Oh, we'll do another one. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> he doesn't want the gardening to be over. Pop them in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like aggressive gardening. Like, that's all done now, isn't it? Yeah. So where are we going to put these? I think we should put them either side of the front door. I think they'll look really yeah, cool. well, it's not going to be spring until anything happens with them. <laughs> Stop it. So I guess we can just cover them with a bit of mesh for now. Yeah, is that what to protect them from like the frost and stuff? No, the mesh is just so the chickens don't get it or of nothing course. digs the bulbs up. 
Um, or children don't attack And then it spring, again. when they start sprouting, we'll just think of a place either side of the door or something, or yeah, by yeah, the driveway. Yeah, really or good, actually, like either side of the door. Well. High five, Thomas. Thank you for helping. Yeah. <laughs> gonna have to get up, up on the roof and repair that bit of chimney oh god where it was leaking in yeah but it's quite bad doesn't it yeah well we i know which bit it was it's just a little bit of concrete that's missing right um i'm just worried about the actual beam inside that's been getting water on it constantly for oh, like really? two years now cause... well yeah it's yeah it's been leaking for a yeah, while um, so it's a bit soft and it's a bit wet, so hopefully that's all right, really. How are we going to be able to tell, like, what's... Well, I'll seal this up and then just as it starts drying out, if it's still mushy, then... Oh, uh, it'll have to be we replaced. Take it out, it's a real pain to take it out now. Well, we've did, we done the whole roof and everything, haven't we, so... Yeah, so we'll see, hopefully not. But I'm going to get up, put this blob of cement on... <laughs> Yeah, well, we need functional, not pretty. Well, both would be good, but well, can, when we render over it with the line, I can it up yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's what I mean. It just needs to be functional for now, doesn't it? To yeah. like keep to protect the wood and that. I think that'll do. Cool. It's a good job you're not scared of ladders, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> this is a cool little detail to show people. So, well, originally, as you can see from where the render is, the bread oven would have been here, the mm -hmm. back of the bread oven. So the whole, the arch, which we've exposed, is here. But this is the uh, mantle. What do you call it? Is this a mantle piece? Isn't it? The mantle of the chimney over so what they've done is the oak goes all the way through the wall comes out here and they've just rested these big stones on top and yeah. that acts like a counterweight to keep to the mantle up and hold the chimney up what and to hold all the chimney breast as well yeah do we need to repair this wood yeah, that's fine and then wow that's stone deep uh, yeah they just got Put the big stone in, so probably that'll have been when they built the place. They'll have built it up to here. Yeah. And then they'd have put the wood in for the chimney. And then they'd have put the big stone in and built that into the wall. And then carried on building the wall up and then done the chimney inside after. I know. So this this is obviously the, the bit where we never got to have the chimney. No, not the chimney, the, the actual wood oven part, isn't it? Because I know like a lot of yeah, people so have of said... would have been in, inside like a little dome type thing wouldn't it because yeah. i know a lot well, maybe, of people have... I, don't, I don't know exactly how it would have been but there'd have been i think a building here with the dome oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. somewhere but all this would have been a building and obviously i mean it may even be when they put the road in yeah possibly you know, this would have extended out quite into the road and maybe they took it down for that who not knows? yeah who knows i mean and i don't know if the building was big enough that they actually the well would mm. have been inside the building. That's always a possibility. Could have been. Well, yeah, who knows? Because it's what? It's very close, isn't it? Three metres, if and that. And they needed access, you know, for the bakery and stuff to water, so. Well, it's know. so annoying. You, I wish, you know, like you could just have one of these, like, drop in and just see what it was I like. I mean, we've set back to what? 
1940. I think so, yeah. I think and, that's as far... And it still isn't on the map no. there, so... So, yeah, it's been gone a, f a fair while. But, yeah, so I just thought that's a cool little way of doing it, isn't it? Yeah. You know. But definitely, obviously, when we, like, render this wall, we want to keep them bad boys out. <laughs> number two this one just where we fitted the new pipe obviously there's a bigger hole now that needs sealing up yeah which we need to get done already a bit of water's come down doesn't it when mm -hmm. it rains to get that done i've got the cement up there so really don't like doing this one because this is high <laughs> that is that's how so what the little house is what five meters what's this that... nine <gasps> so Get up there, get it done and get back down. <laughs> A nice view when you get up here. That's a nice day, isn't it? This is what I'm working on. It's just cementing up this bit. Little pile of tiles. Just going to put them in there and cement it up. That's our neighbour's house of farmers. How's it going? How's it going? While I was up here, I thought I'd Point a bit of this chimney and repair it because oh. <laughs> this is so bad. Is that? I leave it every time I come up here. I think oh, I should do something, but of course, I'll make it start. That'll stop the hornets coming back as well, won't it? Yeah. Obviously, this whole chimney stack needs to be rendered, really. Yeah. But I'm just sort of filling some of the holes. And a cup of coffee for in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> well, well that's sealed up anyway. It looks really good actually, it looks almost like you've pointed it. This really needs rendering to be honest. Okay. I don't know if I'll have time before the weather changes, but. <laughs> yeah, it's in a bit of a state. But as long as the water don't come in, that's the main thing. No, definitely. If we know the weather's going to change mm. in the next couple of weeks, just to see what needs urgently doing before then, really. <laughs> What's the priorities? Well, the chimneys, which I've done. Yeah. Um, really, they need rendered as well. Mm -hmm. So we'll see time. Um, general sort of gardening all this has got to be brush cut back which is not a big job particularly um we'll pull this one yeah i think so i mean did we sort of decide going to get rid of the pool yeah i you know i'm sad about it actually but it's too deep for the boys you know i think something like this would be fantastic for 
what, like five, six years' time, something like that, perhaps? But yeah, it's too... The boys can't get any use out of it, and actually... We haven't got the time to maintain it at the moment. No, it, well, Last year, we cleaned and refilled it like three times, and we still barely even used it, did we? No, well... Yeah, so we just haven't had the use out of it, and it's so much upkeep. I mean, maybe we could sell it on yeah to someone you know because it's all right isn't it it's just obviously it needs a clean out but, but i would really like a hot tub though <laughs> <laughs> anything else that you want well no i think if we can sell it like how i'm like yeah we need like you know to repair our chimney <laughs> and do this and you're like yeah i need a chandelier and a hot tub <laughs> <laughs> yeah priorities but yeah so this obviously needs emptying cleaning out and packing away Ugh. Which, oh, I could not be bothered with that, but... The thing is, these jobs now, we know that if we leave them and the weather, it starts raining every day and the weather's cold, they just never get done. No, they won't and get that done. will just sit there and it'll be a massive job then in spring when we've got everything else to do. Yeah. And I'm busy with work, you know, catching up on people's gardens, so... Well, that's the busiest time of year, isn't it? Yeah. What's up, Remy? <laughs> I mean, that really does need doing the barn. I patched it up last year, right at the top, but they've all slid off again. The wood just isn't right. No. So I at least need to just patch up them couple of holes, really. Yeah, that's. They're quite dramatic, it's aren't so, they? It's hard to get to because it's just so high and I can't walk on the tiles. No. And that's why I've kind of been leaving it because it's a hard job really, but what's going to happen is that corner, the water's just going to come in and it's going to It's just going to destroy everything, yeah. You know? So it can't be left and it needs to be before the weather gets bad. Changed, yeah. So that's on the list as well. I've got things growing here. I've got the chestnuts, the sweet chestnuts. This is a popular whip, which should be alive, hopefully. So that'll just give <laughs> over winter, hopefully, these establish a little bit where it's wet. And we have sort of a bit of a boundary here, really, because yeah. there's nothing to break the wind, is there? No, That's no, the no. Problem. And then I guess, other job, we just need a really good tidy round don't we yep oh yeah just definitely junk and rubbish everywhere and we've just not had a time we've been so busy this year we haven't had the time for outside really no i think as well because obviously we're working and you know living in our renovation it's <laughs> you, you know you kind of just have to like get right get all the rubbish out the house from whatever yeah. work that we've done i mean the barns need desperate clear up but that you know that can be done over as and when, the outside, yeah. really, I'd like it before everything gets just muddy and sludgy. Just get all the junk, you know. We'll maybe have a fire with all the little tree bits. You yeah, know, you forget gotten. how bad it is with the mud and the sludge. It's yeah. So just get hardcore. Just get tidied up, really. That's sort of one of the main jobs, isn't it? As yeah, well. I think so. What are you finding there, Buzz? Stuff like this as well. Yeah. How many I times know. have we killed that? I though? know. I chop it every year, <laughs> but obviously it, it takes the little tiny roots still to be connected, and then it starts all over again. Yeah, it's so, really hard to get rid of. There's a lot to do, really, in this. So, in the next sort of few weeks. So thanks for watching again today. Uh, please do remember to subscribe to our channel and give it a like while you're here. We're going to do another video midweek. Um, my granddad's actually here at the moment um, and he is a stonemason or was a stonemason, you know, back in the day. Um, so he's going to give us a lesson on facing 
stone for doing like dry stone walling and stuff like that um which is a skill i actually really need you know in this project so if you're interested in that sort of thing take a look we're going to try get out um tuesday or wednesday night um so take a look at that as well thanks for watching